today we'll talk about the creating a bucket in s3 so last slide we understand what is the s3 amazon s3 it is basically to store a data and which is in object form so what we will do today we'll create a bucket so let's go to create bucket so if you log in here you can select uh, s3 let's say go to the s3 you can search from here also and you want to create a bucket create a bucket you can put the bu bucket name so bucket name what happens in this case let's say for example you want to create a sales pipe line or inventory job so based on that you have some name defined you can give that to your admin and admin will help you to create that bucket also once you create a bucket keep in mind don't put capital name that is not recommended neither space let's say you want to create a sales let's say so this there is a space so it is not allowed and capital and underscore also not allowed so basically if you select this one rules if you go in this rule these are the uh, they have defined rule bucket name must be between 3 and 63 characters long bucket name can consist only of lowercase letters number dots and hyper hyphens right bucket name must begin and end with the letter or numbers so basically these are the rules AWS have defined go through these rules understand and according that you have to define your bucket so let's say in this case because we are creating a sample example so we will just create this bucket sales PSD 1016 bucket we are creating let's say 2022 now bucket because this is in global if you see here right hand side is in global right so unique name it's basically a unique name and uh, here you can select the aws region better to select because it's a global region you can select any but better you can select nearby uh, data center so in this case because we have created our account in north virginia so we'll select in north virginia here next point is the object ownership so object ownership what happens you have acl uh, if you want to enable the acl you can use the acl if you don't want to use the use the acl disabled so acl what happened if you go to the uh, granular level or access you are talking about a file and a content inside that file and you want to put a specific file uh, label access then you have to enable so in this case let's say select enabled so here you see we have two owners here let's say for example admin who is creating this bucket and he want to full control then bucket owner preferred if you are talking about the job let's say job sales data which is writing if you want to give control to that writer object writer that will be the owner so in this case in our example we are just selecting disable the disable option acl deliver uh, disabled i think you, you understand what is the object ownership bucket owner preferred if new object return to this bucket specify the bucket owner full control Kind ACL. They are owned by the bucket owner. Otherwise, they are owned by the object writer. So, object writer means let's say job which is writing a job that is owned. So, that, that kind of we are talking about granular level controlling the file. So, in this case, let's select uh, ACL disabled. Coming on the next is that public access. Gen generally, what happens if you are creating a uh, bucket which is access in the internet, if you are allowing to public, so what will happen if you have sensitive information or your organization information that can be a, uh, someone can misuse that data. So better always allow, uh, basically block all the public access. That is the recommended one. If you are not, if you in case you want to allow everyone to see, then you can deselect this option and acknowledge once you acknowledge this so that means you are saying that it, it that uh, especially that uh, bucket can be accessed publicly so better select block all that is the best option if you want to let's say just select one you want to just allow this one block public access to bucket you can select one if you want to another one you can select this way this is this is purely a requirement but uh, best option let's uh, any public access disallow coming on the versioning so what happens sometimes you have the code let's say or you are putting that into your s3 today tomorrow you came you made some changes on the code 
and you want you want to push that code into the bucket so what will it will override it will show you the current code but you want to see in the previous what whatever code you have written you want to compare that so basically in that kind of scenario we have to enable the s3 versioning that helps us to track what are the modification or changes happened on the file so because we are just taking this sample exercise so we are just disabling that but but this version in have to be enabled now coming on the tag so let's say for example the admin who is creating this bucket for a team or there is one specific team which has requested this folder to be created so they can use this folder to push the data into that particular folder so they may be it is a production maybe they are opening a change ticket through the change ticket they can tag here who have requested or change number they can put it depends on what kind of tag they want to put so multiple tags we can add here we can add the another tag also here now next option is very important sometimes what happens if you have sensitive information let's say you are talking about the personal identifier pia data maybe they have the email address maybe a phone number you don't want to expose that to everyone within organization or outside organization you don't want to use so what you can do you can encrypt those field and you can put the encrypted field there is one option the other option is that you can encrypt whole file that is also that what aws provides that is the capability they have given you can enable that feature server side encryption the whole file will be encrypted and it is it is not going to be uh, like uh, to read by the hackers so that that's where we have to enable if it is very sensitive information let's say you have the pci information you have credit card information that's something you don't want to uh people can hack that information right so better you have to enable those kind of features so you can, we can avoid that information if you have medical history let's say medical data you there is some uh, hipaa uh, compliance data so those kind of data if you are storing better to enable the server side encryption and it will make sure that your data is not getting uh, by the other person or it or it is not misused coming on the advanced setting so advanced setting what happens let's say for example if you enable this one so one thing to keep in mind what it is saying that object lock so store object using a write once read many model to help you prevent object from being deleted or overwritten for a fixed amount of time or indefinitely so basically you if you there are scenario sometime what happen organization people are not intentionally sometime unintentionally data can be deleted you want to avoid those kind of situation you want to put a lock so override return you want to avoid over return or maybe delete it so you have to enable that but make sure once you enable this one then uh, by default versioning will be disabled because see, anyhow the, because this is this is your you have enabled this one right so that's where you see bucket versioning cannot be disabled when object locker is enabled so that is also keep in mind once you are creating a or accessing or enabling the object lock so let's let's say in this case we are disabling this one this feature and uh, we have uh, versioning enabled so let's uh, disable this one also so let's uh, review one more time before we create a bucket so if you see i have the bucket name which needs to be unique globally identified then we can select the regions where we want to put that uh, bucket and then we have uh, granular level access through the acl access control list if you want to enable we can enable but in this case we have disabled that one block all the public access we don't want to give the permission to anyone to access that uh, uh, publicly access that uh, uh, folder or that bucket we are we are allow, we are blocking all these access versioning we have disabled we know what is the versioning tag we put here and we disable the encryption and object lock also so now let's create a bucket okay so now if you see here the bucket was got created okay bucket is created now so let's say for example you want to upload some file here so what you can do you go in upload and uh, add 